today I want to do a quick little video on how your power actually works inside your RV. We had an issue last week where when we come in late at night we turned on our lights and they was all dim. And using the diagram that I'm getting ready to show you, I was able to track it down and find out what the issue was. So let me pull the camera in a little closer. We'll go through this di diagram. By using this diagram, it'll also help you understand how to diagnose your own camper. Okay, as you can see, the blue represents 120 volts. The green represents the 12 volt. When you pull into your campsite, you'll take your extension cord and you'll plug it in to the campground pedestal. That is 120 volts. So the 120 volts will come directly into your fuse panel. The fuse panel is actually represented by this black box. It's all one. It'll look like this in your camper. So once the power comes in, there'll be house breakers. They'll look just like the same breakers you have in your house. Little flip style. The 120 side will run like your refrigerator, your water heater, your AC, your outlets, your TVs, things of that nature. You will also have one breaker that'll say converter, and that runs 120 volts to this side of your converter. The converter's job is to take it from 120 volts AC and step it down to 12 volts DC. As it leaves your converter, it Ys, and it does two things after the Y. The first one, it'll charge your 12 volt battery. The other leg of the Y will come up here and run your panel, your DC panel. So it'll come in here and these fuses here will look like car fuses, the little bladed style fuses. And the DC 12 volt will run your lights, your heater fan, any USB port outlets you have, like your water pump, um, any of your sensors, your awnings, that's all ran off of DC. The way to use this diagram to troubleshoot, I will use the example that we had last week. We knew our lights was under 12 volts because the lights were dim. So the first thing that I did was I turned on my air conditioning. I turned it on and that turned on so I knew from here was good. I was getting power in on my 120 side. So I grab my meter, I go outside, I check my battery. My battery was also low. So now that's telling me that this this side is low and this side is low. So that means I'm kind of looking here at the converter side because I know I have power coming here. So I went in to the fuse panel, I opened it up, checked the power here, I had 120 volts. I had 120 volts here, I had nothing coming out here. So I knew it was inside my converter. I really opened it up, you'll find the circuit board and there'll be a fuse on that. And you can test that fuse. Now if that fuse is still good, you know all the circuitry on the rest of that board is good. I tested it, tested good. So then, I actually flipped the board over and started looking because I knew everything was good because this fuse protected everything downstream. So what I did, I rolled it over and I started looking underneath and I found a cracked solder joint. By driving along, the bumps and stuff that this camper took actually broke the solder joint. Resoldered it, everything come back up and we're good to go. As you can see, using this diagram here, you could actually go through and troubleshoot anything. You know, if your AC wasn't working, you're not going to be looking at the DC side of it because you know it don't even affect what the DC. So if your AC, you're going to come back, you're going to check the AC breaker. If that's good, then you're going to check your 30 amp breaker coming in. If that's good, then you're going to come back here and you're going to check back here. So hopefully that's a quick little troubleshooting guide. But I hope you guys out. You, know, I use this all the time. So hopefully you found some benefit in it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching.